Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Olight has made some more O-Tackle, and it's available on the Obi store, and they sent me three of these pieces to test out. They are all titanium, and this one is amazing. Let's get to it though. First of all, this is a standard key ring bead made of titanium. Pop it apart here this way using a release um, the cylinder, and it's got a neodymium magnet in it, so you can use it for uh, temporary release or a full lock. Not going to go anywhere. Great design. Simple, uh, effective. Take a look at this one. This is the O-Whistle 2. They made a smaller O-Whistle. Oh, by the way, this is called the R1. O-Tackle R1. Uh, release 1, maybe? Um, but anyway, this is the whistle. O-Whistle 2. They made a smaller cylinder whistle. This one they've incorporated not only a compass into it, full titanium, but two full whistle channels. So if something happens to one, you should have the other, but both of them work great together. This is actually uh, pretty hefty. It's almost an ounce. Um, and I did test out the compass, and it does point where it should. Um, it is not a liquid-filled compass, as you can see it bouncing around in here. Um, that's not going to be a big deal here. Uh, longevity, maybe, but it also looks like, I wonder if it's replaceable, the way they've got this um, in here, and perhaps it can unscrew. I haven't played around with it, but it's a good solid design. I'm glad that o, uh, Olight and their O-Tackle is actually exploring different directions for some of these things, especially this one. Check this thing out. Any ideas? That's right. This is the O-Tackle D1 or Driver 1. It's full titanium. This contains six bits, standard four millimeter. You can see how they've machined out the inside there. It's got a ball detent, drops into that little hole, keeps this thing nice and sleek. Got a couple of different options, obviously, right out the front, but um, this isn't a lanyard hole. This is actually a bit holding hole. Uh, in one direction, doesn't go in on this side, um, or won't stay, but right there. So you've got two options here for driving it, and then you also maintain your lanyard hold there. Um, this uh, comes with four um, or four bits, each with two sides. So we have got on this one, we've got a uh, looks like a Phillips zero and a number two Phillips, believe it or not. This is. Hexes, this is looks like a 1.5 and a 2 on that side. Um, here we've got a looks like a 3 millimeter slotted. Looks might might be a touch thinner than the full width of the blade there. So I'm guessing it's a 3. They aren't marked. Uh, 3 millimeter slotted and a P1. Phillips 1 on that. And the last one, I don't know which one I missed. I got the hex, the Torx, I guess, here. Looks like a T7 and a T8 on this. They drop right in to this well-machined little channel. And just store them in there. Uh, pretty slick design. This thing weighs about one and a half ounces. Um, some thought went into this guy. Anyway, there are the new O-Tackle pieces from Olight. This is the or the, the O-Knife O-Tackle. Olight o O-Knife o O-Tackle. Um, this is the D1 or Driver 1. This is the O-Whistle 2, all titanium. And this is the R1, or probably Release 1. Um, exploring some other areas. And with that, Dock out.